Hi, Seriousness here, back with another Ordinal Marco video. It was at 57, and, um, yeah, I, I, it's been a couple days. I basically have enough, I have the same amount of factor boost as I had at the beginning of episode 55. I probably could increase the singularity, but 96 is optimal here, and there's a number of things I want to do. I've actually missed a bunch of stuff. I went over the recording of episode 55, and in the editing, I found out that I was actually getting E145 incrementing per second, and I just never noticed that when I was just like, what does Challenge 9 even do? And that was better than what I had afterwards. So, like, this means that I can go into Challenge 9 again and get some more singularity levels out of that. So, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Challenge 9, um, just do this, um, get the incrementing. Of course, I just want, I want to... I'm turn the factor boost auto procedure off so I can get incrementing, and if I go to singularity, I'm still getting zero incrementing per second for some reason. Um, it's probably because oh yeah, it, it, I just have to do this manually. I almost forgot. I just thought since I'm in base five, okay, just just do this. It's really not hard. And okay, now I can start getting incrementing, and you can see I, I completely missed this, and now I'm getting way more incrementing than ever before. E158. That's enough. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I, I forgot that Channels 9 made the time go much slower. Whatever, I'm still getting a couple singularity levels out of this. So, like I'm going to get one. That's that's three singularity levels. That's, that's nothing to scoff at right there. So, um, yeah, I probably don't want to get this. And I don't think I want to push all the way to... I could push all the way to E150, but I don't really want to wait for that. So, um, what, what I have right here is good. I will now exit the challenge and and do something else I was trying to do. And that is Baseless Milestone 4. So first I have to go all the way back to Singularity Level 1. And I guess I could turn back on this auto procedure. And then enter Challenge 4. Because now, hopefully, I will be able to... Yeah, this looks a lot more doable because I'm already one one thousandth of the way there, and it and this increases quadratically. So, yeah, it looks like a I barely have to wait any time, like at least for ordinal markup standards, to get this baseless milestone complete. So I'm, I'm now one fifth of the way there, time wise. So, um, yeah, seen a bit. Actually, also another thing I have completely forgot about is this. I can actually increase all of these powers by a good amount here. Like, E41 of all cardinals. I can probably also get another singularity level out of this. If I, like, let's say, um, while I'm waiting here, I can, like, I, I, I want to make these go up, so I don't want to do it immediately, but I can put half of it into Aleph Omega. It'll increase this number, and it'll allow me to get more Singularity levels. So maybe, maybe maybe once I'm up to like actually I'll just I'll just do it now. I'll buy max or half of this. This will allow me to get one, two more singularity levels. So now my max singularity is 131. So that's really good. And this is now 19 instead of 15. So this is this is definitely going to help things. It's I don't think it's helping this baseless milestone, but I think I'm going to get a lot more, or at least considerably more, and here's a baseless milestone, and I get an achievement because of this. So it's going to give me more factor boost per second, that's what I was going to say. So this means that I will automatically get incrementing and dark manifolds and upgrades without losing the incrementing. So it's not that important, but I think more important is that I'm getting another milestone, which means that in challenge it, or like this, this, the base multiplier here, um, instead of multiplying 9 by, by 9.06, it'll be multiplying 10 by 9.06. So, and I think I want, I, I was trying to, I'm trying to remember the number. I think I wanted like 9, it's like something like 96 or 95, I don't know, but something like that, boosters for a certain challenge. So, yeah, now I am done with the baseless milestones. I probably could just experiment with how many factor boosts I can get per second now. Um, yeah, I can get over 2 billion 
and the optimal singularity now is 99. So, yeah, 2 billion, 2.3 billion factor boosts per second. That's going to help things. And I think I could just collapse. I'm not exactly sure what I should do now because I, I probably want some more Omega Challenge completions because I want to be able to beat Omega Challenge 4. Actually, no, it's not just that. I completely, I remember, I completely forgot about this upgrade. Square root the fourth factor shift cost. And it's, the thing is I never noticed, never really took that into consideration because it's been locked until last episode. But now I can do it. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to collapse the Cardinals. It'll give me slightly more than before. So there's that. And then I will go into Omega Challenge 4. So... Um, yeah, I just need to get the factor shifts. I probably want to get the a good singularity function build. It's probably just what I usually do, except I include this as part of it. So now I need to... So it looks like I'm, I've reached the backman Howard ordinal. Now I need to um, get enough incrementing. And I mean, actually, I can... It's interesting. I, it seems like I can almost grind factor boosts in this, like in an Omega Challenge. And maybe, okay, it doesn't really seem like I can really grind it. But anyway, I probably want to, of course, um, get the auto procedure going, turn off the factor boost auto procedure so I can get as much incrementing as possible. And it looks like, yeah, I can I can get E103, 104 incrementing from this. So that's going to easily allow me to beat the challenge by quite a bit. And the reward is that factor shifts are going to be much cheaper. Not exactly sure how that is um, going to be useful, but I will I will take it. So maybe I can try Omega Challenge Six with this. Um, let's see if I can do anything. Else. I've reached the Backman Howard Ordinal, um, so I think that's a that that's a step in the right direction. My, oh, my singularity is locked at one. Can't buy singularity functions. Could try to. Get the factor boost auto procedure here, um, but I'm, I'm getting factor boosts. But other than that, there's how am I supposed to get? Or actually, maybe no. I need E85 incrementing. Okay, I, I don't know how to do that. But at the very least, I've completed another Omega challenge. Actually, I think I have a new plan. I'm gonna go back into Omega challenge four because I don't even think I got a real. Okay, I, I think this is the optimal booster build, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try to get, um, okay, I just need the right singularity function build first. What I'm actually going to do is that I noticed something. I noticed since factor shifts are cheaper, and um, I should be getting more incrementing than this. Is it? Oh, it's because I don't have this one. Um, I noticed that like since factor shifts are cheaper. I don't know why, I still don't know why I'm not getting as much in this challenge as I was before. Is it the boosters? Possibly. Um, could be the boosters. Not sure. I feel like this is a good build. I don't know why I can't get... I, I, I could get much farther than this before. But now I can't. For some reason. But... Anyway, the, the plan was to um, try to get more completions of this challenge because there's a comment that said that I should go for base 3 in challenge 8. And I had no idea how that was possible, but with this reward, it could be possible. Like, I think it's E100. This would turn it into about 5E46. I'm not quite to E46 yet. If I can get it down to, like, 3e45, then I can do the factor shift. But unfortunately, I can't do anything more with this challenge, even though I did that before, which is confusing me. Maybe I needed the factor boost auto procedure going just so I can grind factor boost first. Maybe that's what I was. And maybe now, if I turn this back off, I can. Yeah, yeah, this is this is what I was doing. So I just need to grind factor boost first. And I think what I want to do is I want to 
grind a bunch in this challenge. Uh, um, just grind a lot of factor boosts here, like maybe a billion if I'm getting 66,000 per second. That'll take a few hours. And then after that, just grind incrementing for a couple hours so I can get this 0 0.46 down to, z to like... I want 0 0.453 or 454. If I can get, if I can see a 454 here, then I think I can factor shift in challenge 8 to go into base 3. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I said I was going to be back in a few hours. It's been a few days. That's why I am going to get 130 billion factor boosts in this Omega challenge, which is way. Too many, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna have. I just want to see this reach. Yeah, here it is, 130 billion, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do auto procedures. Get this. Just try to get as much decrementing as possible. Not, not decrementing, incrementing as possible. And you can see how much I can get. E10, 109, 110, 111, and yeah, I'm already getting these. So yeah, I can see how much I am actually getting with this challenge. Unfortunately, it's still actually no. I wanted, I think, four, five, three, or four, five, two. So what I currently have here is good. So maybe I'll be able to do stuff in challenge eight because of this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, also actually before that, someone said that if you go into a mega challenge two and also grind factor boosts. So that means I get this and. Of course, I I turn this off and I get the singularity functions that I need. I will be able to um, grind a decent amount of factor boosts. Won't be like billions, but if I can get just even just like 10 million factor boosts and then get incrementing after that, I feel like that would be extremely powerful. Or at least powerful enough that I can get a lot of incrementing. E92, which is that a record? Um, let's see, it's a record. Yep, I'm all I'm just going all the way up to 3.7, so that's that's pretty good. So I'm gonna do that and exit this one. My challenge, maybe now is time to go into challenge eight and do stuff in it. And perhaps I want maybe I just want to go into challenge eight instead of doing like Omega challenge one plus eight. So I'm just gonna do a normal challenge eight. Um, I need to get the right singularity function build. Just probably, probably don't, I don't even need the decrementing stuff. So I just probably um, space five. I probably, probably press M. Um, I can get E forty seven, and actually I only need E nine ordinal points to do a factor shift. But do I need that? Oh, and I need E forty four ordinal points. Hmm, okay, that's doesn't look like I, I can do that. I, I thought I was gonna be able to do something, but um here I just can't, unfortunately. Like I, I can I can try pressing M, but you see, only E thirty seven ordinal points. So something to try for, but I just can't do it at this point. So yeah, I, I really thought that I was gonna change the game. I feel like it will change the game. People are saying getting Omega to the Omega squared in base 3. But I can't really do that at this point. So I'm not exactly sure what I could do. I could actually, not even in Omega challenge. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go into Omega. I, actually, what I could do is just exit the challenge, the regular challenge. Go back into challenge 8. And um, include this in my build. Actually, I can also do this, which uh, it's, it's the fourth factor shift. I don't think that's gonna really matter here. So I'm just gonna go I'm gonna do it in base five. And this is E46 and I need E48 ordinal points. So I still can't even do that. Even at, what if I'm a singularity one, does that get me any more? No, it does nothing. So yeah that's that's unfortunate. I guess now I can try on make a challenge six. So you can see I'm grinding some factor boost. It's not very fast but even just 50,000 factor boosts may be a lot here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get, I'm um, turning this off now and try to get as much, oh yeah, I can't increase my singularity level. I keep forgetting this. 
Yeah, this, this challenge is still impossible. I keep trying it, but it won't do anything. So, unfortunately, right now I have to leave and do other stuff. So, yeah, seeing a bit. Okay, I'm back. Not I'm not in any Omega challenges right now, and I probably can just. I, I've been grinding factor boosts, but only for a few hours. So, yeah, it's not really gonna be that much. That much. It's still 37 trillion, but. Not all that much compared to the 500 trillion I've gotten twice before. So, I think the last thing I'm going to try is Omega Challenge 1 plus 8. I haven't done that since, like, episode 55, so... I don't know, I thought it was episode 56. Wow. Okay, it was only one episode ago. But yeah, I'm, I'm still going to try it again, because I feel like my singularity has increased quite a bit since last time I did this. So, here we go. 1 plus 8. Um, of course, get the get these... Um, I can now get, I'm almost, I'm close to getting, being able to get this, but I don't think that really matters all that much. So, of course I have to factor shift enough times to really reach base 5. I feel like I'm in base 5. Oh, yeah, of course, I need the, the relevant singularity upgrades. I want the deeper many ones. Um, I can probably now get, like, all of these. Yeah, I can get all of them, which is pretty cool. Maybe I don't need, like, the Singularity Effect one, but whatever. At, at least I have all of them. And let's see if I'm getting any more decremented than before. I feel like this is about the same. Uh, this isn't very good. EE51, and I've gotten EE54. So this is, this is not the right build. I'm going to try one more time, probably because I might have... I don't know, maybe... Actually... Maybe I'll just, I can just refund here, and maybe I can make a better build if I just, like, avoid... Actually, I, I, I don't need this one at all. So if I can just do this, maybe... Actually, no, I completely forgot. Singularity level 1. Always do that. Why do I always forget this? And I don't think I need the singularity effect, because all the singularity effect does is give me more factor boosts. So now I can actually get... I'm actually getting the Dark Manifolds automatically, which is pretty nice. And so I'm going to... EE55 decremeni. I'm also getting these upgrades automatically because of Faceless Milestone 4. So, I guess that's pretty cool. But, I honestly, I feel like it's the best decision to just grind this out for several singularity levels. Like, I'm not sure if it's... I don't think it's... No, it's not auto-buying singularity levels here, but maybe I'm at 133. I can probably get up to like 135, 136. Maybe even a little higher, or close to 140. But that will take a little while. I mean, even with this, it's like, at this rate, it's about 2e54. That, that's what it's multiplying by every second. So if I wait a day, I can theoretically, with this, I can probably reach e3e59. And in the grand scheme of ordinal markup time walls, just like honestly, just going up to 1e59 is a good deal, because this only increases by, like, five times, and with 359, I can get, um, something like 1E60 Dark Manifold. That's probably another four Singularity levels on top of the, of the 134 that I have. So, I'm, I don't think the Singularity levels are mattering all that much, but still, just having, at least having them there will help me with more Omega Challenges. So, yeah, I don't think there's much else I can do here. I feel like I've, I've exhausted a lot of my options at this point. I've just been doing the Omega Challenges over and over again. Maybe I could try to factor boost grind because 2.5 billion factor boosts per second. The problem is that a day of that only gets me 200 billion, no, 200 trillion. And I need to wait multiple days for me to get more Cardinals. Actually, speaking of Cardinals, um, I did actually assign them into here, so I have better multipliers in here, but I don't really know what else I can do. Maybe I, maybe there's like one more singularity level I can get from that, but it's only just a sing, it's only a singularity level. Actually, I can't even get it yet, so it's not even that important. But yeah, there's not much else I can do. I'm not exactly sure what I'm shooting for at this point because I can I can now make a full build of singularity upgrades, and like, I, I know I need the achievements. I know I will need this. I'm up to, I'm up to 67. But 
I, maybe the next goal is to try to get more of these Challenge A completions somehow. Maybe it's one of the Omega Challenge rewards. So, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.